In this video we will take a quick look at some of the features of COM100, C-O-M-M-100, which is a uh, relatively free cost customer support chat solution. When a customer initiates a chat, they're only asked to provide name and email, which is somewhat limited. After starting a chat, they're asked to wait, and if they don't want to wait, they may leave an offline message, which is good escalation. Here we're looking at the uh, operator uh, details, their user interface. We will highlight this and then click on Accept to start a chat. And when the chat starts, both the operator and the uh, person who started the chat will see the same greeting. The greeting indicates that a ticket has been created and that the uh, chat transcript or whatever is typed through the chat session will be saved in the ticket system. Uh, so that's good. It would be good to be able to update this message, however. the operators panel it is possible to see what somebody is about to type we can see them as they are typing which is uh, useful uh, that's uh, a very good feature for being able to answer questions quickly com 100 also supports voice chat an operator can send a request to the user doing that if they want. It looks like uh, file transfer is also supported. And a chat session can be transferred to a different operator who is logged in and has marked their status as available. Prompts are provided when new messages arrive. Now what I just clicked on, that was actually the prompt for uh, the operator, not the customer. And so uh, if an operator is doing something, uh, they get a pop-up alert, as well as a sound alert. And then if they click, then their screen will change focus immediately. The customer screen will show a uh, status indicator uh, of when an operator is typing. Here we'll take a quick look at sending a file. progress indicator is provided and after a file has been uh, successfully sent then it is available as a link and this is how it looks to a user when an operator sends a file to them Users are also able to initiate voice chat. 
or send a file if they want. It looks like screen capture support is also uh, available. However, uh, these icons are in an area where somebody's not going to see them because they're going to be interacting down here. Uh, so if we can move these down by the send button, that would be good. Clicking on screen capture will open up a Java plugin. I will allow it to run and we will investigate the interface for this. So it looks like the chat server serves up a Java applet for the purpose of doing a screen capture. Uh, however, um, the way that this works, the timing uh, doesn't look like it's going to be very helpful. However, it is possible for someone to recapture or close, so uh, in the event that someone needed to uh, do something like uh, find some content, maybe log into a video game, and then uh, take the screen capture again, uh, they can reopen this interface. chat window stays open at the same time though, so uh, that's going to pro prohibit users from sending very detailed uh, screen captures or screen capture the whole screen because part of that chat window is going to be covering up uh, that capture. covers up part of their screen. It shows that a image has been sent successfully within the uh, operator window we can see a thumbnail of the image and then of course if we want to see that uh, in full size we can just click it looks like uh, this is saving it in jpeg format with a very low compression setting which is good I would assume that this screen capture stays visible in the chat transcript later on uh, if someone were to uh, go in and review this. And of course the transcript can be tracked by the ticket number. We'll take a look at the uh, ticketing system later. The ticketing system is a little bit separate than the chat system. One of the benefits of COM100 is that the chat server uh, doesn't need to be hosted by yourself. Everything runs off of COM100.com, uh, which means uh, you don't have to worry about reliability problems with your own server in case it ever gets attacked or uh, somebody forgets to update it, whatever. If you've done customer support and you've uh, hosted your own service, you know how important that is. After a customer closes chat, uh, which we will see now, we can either click on the end chat button here or here. When I just closed the window, I was not given the opportunity to get my transcript to save the chat. So that's actually uh, a weakness that should be addressed. Uh, the way that that can be addressed is through a script. Uh, sometimes uh, you may have visited a website where you try to close a website or close a browser window and then a script pops up and tells you that uh, you should wait because the website has a special offer for you that kind of th stuff we could approach the uh, same methodology over here next we will close the chat through the end chat button which also should be reloca relocated down to the bottom if possible 
Uh, now it asks me if I'm sure I want to stop chatting. I'll say yes. And this time, uh, we are given the opportunity of having a transcript sent to us by email. Note that this did not provide the ticket number on close, uh, which would be a benefit if it did do that. We should take a close look at how the system can be configured uh, to make sure that we're able to get the most out of it. <coughs> 